Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly list and name the function of a few different glial cells. So let's get started. So we have five main glial cells to discuss. These include astrocytes, ependymal cells, microglia, Schwann cells, and oligodendrocytes. Let's start off with astrocytes. So astrocytes are responsible for forming the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is essential because it protects brains from pathogens in the blood. So certain substances like carbon dioxide and oxygen are allowed to pass, whereas toxins that will hurt the brain and the overall central nervous system are kept out. And of course, since astrocytes are involved with the brain, they're part of the central nervous system. Moving on, we have ependymal cells, which are the barrier between cerebrospinal fluid and interstitial fluid in the central nervous system. Cerebrospinal fluid surrounds the brain and the spinal cord, and it's responsible for cushioning the brain from injury, delivering nutrients, and removing waste. Interstitial fluid, on the other hand, surrounds the body's cells, and ependymal cells serve as the barrier between the cerebrospinal fluid and the interstitial fluid. Next, we have microglia, which digest waste in the central nervous system. Microglia are essential because they're the main form of immune defense in the central nervous system. Next, we have both Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes. Now, both of these cells perform the same function, but they do them in two different parts of the nervous system. Schwann cells form the myelin sheath in the peripheral nervous system, whereas oligodendrocytes form the myelin sheath in the central nervous system. The myelin sheath is an insulating layer that forms along nerve cells, also known as neurons, and helps speed up electrical impulses along the axon. The myelin sheath is essential for propagating these impulses, and Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes play an important part in their respective division of the nervous system. So, in summary, we have five main glial cells that we discussed, astrocytes, ependymal cells, microglia, oligodendrocytes, and Schwann cells. All of them, except for Schwann cells, are part of the central nervous system. I hope this video was helpful in explaining the different glial cells. If you have any questions that I can help with, please leave them below. Thank you.